Introduction. Welcome to today's lecture on the genitourinary system. In this comprehensive course, we will delve into the intricate details of the anatomy, positioning and preparation, inspection and palpation techniques, and diagnostic investigations of this vital system. To ensure a holistic understanding, we will explore the various aspects of the genitourinary system, including urological emergencies and common disorders. So, let us begin our journey into the depths of this fascinating subject. To understand the genitourinary system, we must first know the anatomy of its organs. This includes the kidneys, ureters, bladder, urethra, testes, epididymis, prostate, seminal vesicles, and vas deferens. It's vital to understand the blood and nerve supply for a comprehensive grasp of the system's functionality. In order to properly examine the genitourinary system, patients must be positioned correctly for optimal visualization. Preparing for the examination involves obtaining a detailed medical history and maintaining patient privacy. Adequate draping is essential for both comfort and access to the necessary areas. Visual inspection and palpation are fundamental techniques in evaluating the genitourinary system. During inspection, medical professionals must carefully observe the external genitalia for any irregularities in size, shape, color, or the presence of lesions. Palpation, on the other hand, involves gently applying pressure to specific regions, such as the scrotum, testes, epididymis, and prostate, to identify any signs of swelling, tenderness, or masses. Acquiring proficiency in these techniques is vital for accurate diagnosis and assessment of the genitourinary system. The Digital Rectal Examination DRE, is a vital procedure for evaluating the rectum and prostate gland. The DRE is indicated for various reasons, including the screening and monitoring of prostate diseases. During the examination, medical professionals must understand the correct technique for palpating the rectum and assessing the prostate gland. Familiarity with the terminology related to the DRE is crucial to accurately communicate findings. Understanding potential findings, such as nodules, masses, or abnormalities in the prostate gland, aids in diagnosing and managing conditions affecting the genitourinary system. Urinalysis is a fundamental diagnostic tool in evaluating renal and urinary tract disorders. By analyzing the urine sample, various parameters can be assessed for abnormalities. These parameters include the appearance, pH, specific gravity, presence of proteins, glucose, ketones, blood cells, and casts. Recognizing deviations from the normal range can aid in diagnosing and monitoring conditions such as urinary tract infections, kidney diseases, and metabolic disorders. Radiological investigations are vital for assessing the genitourinary system. Techniques like renal ultrasound, intravenous pyelogram, IVP, computed tomography, CT, scans, and cystoscopy provide valuable information about the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. Knowing when to use these investigations and how to interpret the results is crucial for accurate diagnosis and management. Cystoscopy is an important diagnostic procedure that allows direct visualization of the bladder and urethra. Understanding the indications for cystoscopy, such as recurrent urinary tract infections, hematuria, or bladder stones, is vital to appropriately recommend this procedure. Familiarity with the technique of cystoscopy, including the insertion and maneuvering of the cystoscope, is crucial to ensure patient comfort and complete examination. During cystoscopy, potential findings, such as bladder tumors, inflammation, or anatomical abnormalities, can assist in making accurate diagnoses and determining appropriate treatment plans. Urodynamic studies evaluate lower urinary tract function by measuring urine flow rates, bladder pressures, and other parameters. Uroflometry measures flow during voiding, cystometry measures bladder pressures during filling slash emptying, and pressure flow studies analyze the relationship between pressures and flow rates. These studies help diagnose and manage lower urinary tract disorders effectively. In this section on male infertility evaluation, we will discuss the diagnostic tests used to assess male infertility. These tests include semen analysis, genetic testing, hormone analysis, scrotal ultrasound, and testicular biopsy. Understanding these tests is crucial for evaluating and managing male infertility. Prostate-specific antigen PSA, testing is a widely utilized tool for screening and diagnosing prostate cancer. Understanding the implications of PSA levels, including factors affecting their interpretation, is essential for clinical decision-making. However, the interpretation of PSA results requires careful consideration of various factors, as elevated levels can also be observed in benign conditions, such as prostatitis or benign prostatic hyperplasia. Recognizing the limitations and potential controversies surrounding PSA testing is crucial for informed clinical practice. Urologic emergencies require prompt recognition, accurate diagnosis, and appropriate management to prevent potential complications. 
acute urinary retention, urinary tract infections, kidney stones, testicular torsion, and priapism are examples of urgent conditions that necessitate immediate attention. Familiarizing oneself with the clinical presentations, diagnostic assessment techniques, and management strategies for these emergencies is essential for providing optimal care and avoiding potential long-term sequelae. A myriad of disorders can affect the genitourinary system, significantly impacting patients' quality of life. Conditions such as urinary tract infections, kidney stones, urinary incontinence, prostate disorders, including benign prostatic hyperplasia and prostate cancer, and sexually transmitted infections are prevalent in clinical practice. Accurate diagnosis, appropriate management strategies, and patient education play essential roles in effectively addressing these disorders. Gaining a comprehensive understanding of these common genitourinary pathologies empowers medical professionals to provide optimal care for their patients. The genitourinary system is complex and vital. Through this course, medical professionals will gain knowledge to accurately diagnose and treat conditions, improving patient outcomes. Thank you for your attention.